Welcome to A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care. I'm Vanessa Keaton and with me today I have Aquarius Young who is the Senior Site Administrator of Crown Recovery Center in Springfield, Kentucky. Welcome Aquarius. Thank you. All right, so Aquarius, um, I want some advice from you today for the audience. So oftentimes we hear people say, oh, I'll do that as a New Year's resolution, and that includes going to treatment. So if you could give some advice to someone today who knows they need recovery, who knows they need treatment, but they're wanting to wait for a New Year's resolution, what kind of advice would you give them? My advice would be go now. Yeah. Go now. Uh, we're dealing with uh, it's just it's too much of a risk yeah. to wait. So I would, I would, my advice would be to go now. Yeah. It, 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 you know, worried about the holidays, those things, it's just temporary. Mm -hmm. And there, there will be plenty more to come, great ones, great memories yeah. for the future. So it would be go now. Absolutely. You know, I was, I went to treatment right after Thanksgiving in 2010, and it was the absolute worst holiday my family ever had. Yes. You know, and then I was in treatment at Christmas, and even though I wasn't with them, everyone was at peace. They knew I was safe, and we have had so many good years after Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So go now. That is some great advice. Don't, don't wait at all. Go now. Yes. So um, now let's shift gears a little bit and think from a family perspective because we know the holidays oftentimes bring in family members that maybe you used to be really close to but you don't see them too often anymore. Maybe you've known that they've struggled over the years. If you were a family member and someone showed up to your Thanksgiving meal or your Christmas meal this year and you knew that they needed help, or maybe they caused a bit of a ruckus at the family gathering. What kind of advice would you give to a family member on how to approach this person? My advice would be to approach them with love and yeah. grace. It, 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 I, think it's, I think it's very, very important to understand uh, or try to understand where that person may be mentally yeah. and, 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 and know that they, they need support more than anything. Yeah. They need they need to know that someone is there for them, although they're going through what they're going through. There's nothing that, it, loneliness uh, drives uh, a lot of this addiction, so it's very important to know you have the support no matter what. Absolutely, I love that. Yeah, approaching them with love and grace because um, you know it's really easy to want to get mad at the person mm -hmm. because of their behaviors that the addiction has created, and we all know those behaviors hurt people, especially family. But being able to approach them with love and grace, let them know that you're there, try to understand, even though you may not be able to understand everything that's happening. Um, but that's, that's really good advice to be able to stay calm, love and grace, and encourage them to yeah. get the help that they need. In my experience, it wasn't that I didn't love my family. I just couldn't stop. Yeah, I know. I, I was driven by that. Yeah. So I just couldn't stop. Absolutely. Well, Aquarius, thank you so much for that advice today. And back to you in the studio.